Welcome to my channel Mixed Media and More. I'm Bea and I'm glad you found me. So that's how I start an assemblage usually. I grab everything I might use and put it on my table. So here we have a skeleton, a butterfly, tattered angel sprays, fabric from my stash, beads, a mixed media paper from Canvas Corpse, a part of a cigar box and what else not. Of course, while working on the assemblage, there might be come up more. In fact, there is always more. Let's stay real here. First, I did some surgery for the skeleton. I wanted to have a little bit of a pose for my wannabe mermaid fairy. And because it is a mermaid, I did get rid of the legs. Next, I started to prepare the tail with the fabric from my inventory. I have no exact plans how I make things when I start. I just try several things till I'm happy. So you're gonna see me gluing on and then taking off again, just trying out what works and what not. I wanted to use wire together with some wire knits, which is actually a jewelry component. And by the way, I will have the supply list down below in the description. As you can imagine, it took me a while to finish the assemblage. I didn't film all the time and I did edit out quite a bit. And I still had to speed up the video four times for YouTube. So here is the part where I figured out that I have to remove the fabric again, as I wanted the fabric salvages in the back of the mermaid ferry. I did use hot glue, which is hot sometimes, as you maybe can see. So here is the wire knits. It is a knitted tube from wire, which can be manipulated and keeps the shape really nice. Yes, you can use an ordinary scissor to cut the tube, which is kind of nice. Every fairy needs some wings. So here I'm preparing a butterfly to give her some wings. hardware from Canvas Corp. And I even did think about it before everything is finished. That's not always the case, but it is much easier to attach it now than later. Now I'm preparing the bottom part of an old cigar box with some gesso. 
I don't cover everything. I just wanted in some areas more or less coverage. Next, I use several colors from the Tattooed Angel Shimmer Sprays. I know I'm gonna use some cheese clothes later on, so I'm gonna use that to catch up the overspray. After spraying with some water, I also dipped the mixed media paper in the overspray. I'm gonna use that for the background later. I have used simple white glue to attach the paper to the box. I also added some modeling paste and did use a silicone brush to give a little bit of texture. I'm also gonna add tiny glass beads later. Not that you're really gonna see them in the end as I add more and more stuff, but that's the way how it works. More color for the cigar box. As usual, I add layer after layer. Now it is time for a total body makeup for my mermaid fairy. As you can see, I did again use different colors from the tattered angel sprays. Next, I'm working on the fin. I applied Versamark and gonna sprinkle some embossing powders and then heat emboss it. As the tail was still wet from the sprays, I decided to wear some gloves. added the same embossing powders also to the background. Mm -hmm. 
Working on the mermaid fairy again, I was looking for something hairy and did pull out these green dyed horse hairs from my stash. I also have some vintage jewelry pieces, which I like to incorporate into my works. And yes, I have finally realized the big mess with the white glue in the upper right corner. I decided to deal with that later. Now I'm working with the cheesecloth that I have dyed before. And I guess at least here I cover those tiny glass beads I have applied in the beginning completely. To attach the tiny tiles and the beads in the shape of a shell, I use hot glue again. I then add some gesso as I'm gonna spray them again. with the hot glue you get those strings of glue everywhere. To get rid of them I used the heat gun, they just melt to nothing. Well, I didn't like how the headpiece looked like, so I did bend back the prongs and arranged it again. make myself a pseudo-scientific sign with some corrugated cardboard and some text and frame from the computer. So if you liked the video please give me a thumbs up and share. And in case you are new here, I would love to have you as a subby. I appreciate each one, it motivates me to make more awesome videos for you all.